Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Dreams of Austria mod. I'm your host, Herr Mokolova, and right now we are looking at integrating Bohemia into our country. So last time we took out Bohemia and we gave Slovakia to Hungary. Great, great friends. Now there's quite a bit of resistance here, 17%. Not too bad, but we can crack down a descent in which we get more damage to garrisons. We get more compliance though. Propaganda campaigns, we lose political power, get more compliance. Resettlement programs for less manpower, but more compliance and stability. But as well as consumer goods, we want, I, just period, I want compliance, so... Oh, we can only do one at a time. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Oh, well, regardless. We're, we're currently integrating Slovenia, which would be a great, great thing. So we can crack down on those people down there. And the U.S. is what the heck? Portugal. What the heck? Hold on. Now, that's pretty risky. Portugal. Spain. Okay. And America. Second American Civil War. Is this 2021? No, oh, 1939. Okay, anyways. Wow. Alf Landon versus the Constitutionalists. Yeah, I've said this before. I, I'm not really sure if I, if I call FDR a real strong constitutionalist, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. What do I know? Anyways, uh, one of the comments from... Hello? Uh, I'm going to say no. I don't want to lose my stability right now. Uh, was that someone says we should do a reverse Anschluss with Germany. Basically, yes, that's going to happen. Totally fine with me. So, we will be reverse Anschlossing. 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 Mm, slosh, slosh, slosh. The Swiss state. Dominate the Balkans. I kind of want to do that too. Let's see. Actually, the Balkans. Are they united? Are they disunited? Well, the Greater Bulgarian Federation. We are in the Pact of Rome, so not bad. And maybe in the meantime, we could probably beat these guys up. Catholic city of Croatia is looking mighty thick. And we love it. So maybe we should go to war with Bulgaria. Maybe we could get Bulgaria under us. Maybe that would be cool kind of you know, to do. Yeah, maybe Romania and Greece. Eh, why not? Once again, we're the undisputed leader, leading power in the Balkans. Not even Serbia is willing to openly defy our will, instead relying on their terrorist organizations to attack us directly. We will reassert our former position at the top dog in the region and bring all the Balkans under our control. I kind of like that. I kind of really, really like that. Because Greece is killing itself, so once they're done, we can continue to kill them as well. And what are we building? Nothing. We have roads. Uh, we need some military factories for realsies, so we'll do that and that. And we'll also build these guys up. Hopefully we can integrate them. Passes war powers. Active heavy batteries. Nice. Very cool, America. Uh, let's see. Cool. Machine tools. Why not? Very weird. Very weird. Anyways. Where are we at? Uh, compliance. Propaganda campaigns. Yes, please. That's fine with us. And crackdown on dissent in Slovenia. Eh. Who needs political power anyways, right? 0.98. Didn't need it. <clears throat> Honestly, these boards look kind of ugly. Dalmatia, is that really how Dalmatia looks? I wish, like, I don't know, like, they could cut this little portion off a little bit more, just to make it look a little nicer, because that doesn't look very good in my opinion. But who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet. Gotta love it. Cool. Keep building them roads. We love to roll. Uh, let's see. So I asked you guys yesterday, or in the last video, really, what direction should we go with our land doctrine? Now, I tallied up all the votes. Ooh, Catholic City of Croatia. And I have determined... After reading all the comments about it, and the votes, and the influence, or the likes for each of those votes, that uh, there's a certain direction we will go, so let's go and do the Bundes here. Oh, there's no, no, there's no description here. Gain a division template containing nine mountaineers and an engineer support company. Two of these divisions will do something for us. We'll spawn in Veen. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, good job, guys. Greater Mozambique. Oh, oh, that's not looking good. Every time I look at Mozambique, I always think Hans Hutig. Hans Hutig did nothing wrong. Oh, boy. All right. So I want these guys as a puppet. I don't want to annex them or anything like that. I just want them as a puppet. I think that'd be really swell. So, of course, we'll call all of our allies in. We got some more PP. Can we do stuff with Bohemia and stuff? Not yet. That's fine with us. Anything at the top? Nope. Tank designer. Uh, mm, do we have any tanks at all? No, not really. So... Someone did recommend we go with heavy tanks in this campaign, maybe. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. Uh, material design, let's go grab Skoda. We usually grab Skoda anyway, so that's kind of nice. Do we have any planes here? Yes, yes. Any extra planes, maybe, though? Tactical bombers? Not that many, honestly. Really not that many. You guys, good luck. We're going to need it. Three, two, one. I don't want to wait any longer. There, we can't go. They have a non-aggression pact with your faction leader. God dang it. Well... Oh, this will pull in France as well as Poland. Well, we wait a little bit longer. We might do okay. How about Greece? Oh, there they go. We can go to war with these guys. I'm going to wait till the Civil War. Uh, if we go to war with them, then we can go to war with these guys anyway, so...
Oh, there goes those guys. What? Wait, hold on. What was I thinking? That's Bulgaria. That's not Romania. Yeah. All right. There we go. Let's see what happens. My bad. I should have waited a little bit. Whatever. We'll make sure that Hungary gets a lot of its good stuff too. So. Oh yes, Bulgaria. We want to take you out, but yes. Serbian Empire has been called it. Ah, Italy. Yes, I love Italy. They can give us more artillery pieces. Hopefully, a lot more artillery pieces. Let us hold the line. Oh, did they break through? That sucks. Oh, 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 you gave up. Guys. Oh, yeah, we're fighting these guys too. The Bundes here. Poland seeks Baltic cooperation, a new power in Eastern Europe. We'll see about that. And overall. Okay, so there's a lot of support for pretty much. There's support for every single one of these. But overall, there's pretty much, I would say, overwhelming support for us to actually go down the Screaming Squall for more superior firepower. No description, and that's okay with me. So it is what it is. Um, the, that one had, like, the most votes. Uh, huh. Hellenic Republic during the Pact of Rome. I'm not sure if I really like that. Zog Smith, that's good. German Reich claims the mill. But the next one that got the most votes after Superior Fire was actually Grand Battle Plan. And then uh, Mobile Warfare. Wow. Guys, are you on the line or what? What's going on? Uh, well, let Romania do its thing. If Hungary falls ill, whatever. Romania is not weak at all. Holy crap. You know, you'd think with all of our extra guys helping out here that we might be able to do a little something something here, but... Nope. Hmm, big sadness. Big sadness. Well, they'll run out of manpower eventually, too, so... Oh, there goes those guys. Hellenic Kingdom is here. Or a Republic, I guess, not a Kingdom. It's fine, whatever. What is that? The Bulgarian threat. That's true, very true. Dispersed Industry is 39. Let's grab some better artillery, shall we? Yes, we shall. Oh, Construction 3 is done. Great! Extraction could be pretty good as well. Planes, that stuff. So, we're going down superior firepower. Nice. Alright, Romania, you're gonna really regret doing this. But hey, this has got a little bit of action here, right? Nice. Are they limited conscription? Not bad. And up to 54 divisions, so let them attack, let them waste themselves on our line. And new artillery pieces, support technology, killing zones. It's not bad. Artillery defense is not bad. Let's keep, see, a large army, professional army. Ooh. Get more population, which would not be bad. We get more losses. I don't like losses. Uh, military construction speed, mountain artillery, mountain movement. That's not bad. I kind of like that. Up next, revenge. Antrus Bavaria. We'll get there eventually, so we don't want to do that yet. Cleanse these guys. One party state. Recovery rate for the fatherland. We could use probably some stability, so one party state, shall we? If we're ever to become a strong nation again, we must make certain that there are no internal divisions amongst our government or our people. Allowing multiple political parties to operate freely is opening the door yet for another civil war. It only makes sense to ban all other parties for the good of our nation. The fatherland front is all Austria needs. Amen. Resettlement. Consumer goods, so be it. Crackdown on dissent, resettlement programs. Eh, let's do that too. Now we have like no factories. Oh, actually, we still have some factories. That's nice. Very good, very good. Fill those areas up too, and then, uh, one, two, 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 two. boom, boom, boom. Ah, yes, we're out of artillery, but let, let's get some help. Thank you. Xander's doing okay. Japan, clear war. It's 39, Japan. Why are you taking so long? Holy crud. Uh, Bulgaria's falling apart, so that's fine. So those volunteers go bye bye. And they're slowly running out of manpower, which is very nice. Water's pretty good. Less than 20,000 manpower from the Romanians. Not bad. Oh, they cancel all of these. Come on, guys. Really? Why? Oh. Well. Alright then. We can just find them now. Kimon. Hello. Um. Can you guys actually win here? We might be able to, actually. Um. Wait. What's going on? Wait, uh. There you go. Could you actually go march straight on? Okay. The divisions are going bye-bye. Okay, whatever. Sounds good to me. Cleanse the gendarme. I always say that wrong. It is what it is. For the fatherland? Maybe you're not. Might be. Ah, no, it's a Swiss state. The last time Switzerland found itself in armed conflict with a foreign nation was nearly 500 years ago in 1499, the Swabian War. The last time the Swiss took up arms at all was in the Sonderbund War, a civil war that took place between the Swiss and separ separationists. It is then undoubtedly a shock to the world that Switzerland has capitulated itself before us. Once considered near sacred, Swiss neutrality has been violated by our own hands, and now we stand. 
stand and reap the benefits of the small, mineral-rich nation. The Swiss states, led by our puppet, Arthur von Jales, stands ready to be, do our bidding, whatever it may be. Oh, yes, please. Alright, so now we probably should stop doing that as much. Uh, some guys were overran. Great. Get back over to the line. Good. Don't waste any lives. Oh, they're out of manpower, though. So any lives we do take, uh, they can't replenish, hopefully. Grab some extraction, because we could probably use it. Die our arms. Very nice. Ace pilot promoted. Very cool. It is 39. Grab some more engineers. That'd be very nice. Up next, way more artillery now. Wow. Alright, so all three of you guys go right here. You might be able to win. You might not be able to win. You might be able to win, which would be very nice. Yep, they went to ex extensive, so they're getting more manpower back, which sucks. That really sucks. Barely touching their organization. Just barely. Uh, better anti-air. Might as well grab some of that. Why not? Cool. And we might lower... Yeah, let's go to limited exports next. After this, we'll probably... See, can we integrate them eventually? The end of Swiss neutrality. Nice. The idea of Swiss neutrality is dead, along with many democratic values Switzerland once had. Neutrality would be replaced <clears throat> with militarism, democracy with fascism, Swiss chocolate, and Steyr mouses. The entire culture of the Swiss must be radically reformed to better align with their interests. The Swiss will likely never be the same again, but that is not a problem for us. We only stand to gain from it. Okay, so you guys are actually winning down here, so I'm totally okay with Italy trying to attack. I'm just going to puppet all of Romania and give Hungary part of its, you know, land. So, Transylvania. Oh, okay then. Very nice. Alright, so Transylvania. Wait. Oh, maybe not. If they don't have cords on this? That's very weird. Romania and Transylvania. Um. Well, if that's the case, is Transylvania worth getting? I don't know about that. We'll just pop it them then. Alright, that's very odd. I, I would have imagined that these guys would have had or wanted. Romanian territory? Okay, so Trisania, Slovakia, Vojvodina. Alright, so maybe I'll, I will give them just a little bit of territory. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, let's see. Northern Transylvania, Transylvania. Let's see what that looks like. And give them Benatu, because they're going to get Corza anyway. Right, I like Romania more like this. This looks a little bit better. And was that all they had they wanted? Reform territorial controls. Get a claim on Banat, Southern Slovakia, Transylvania. So actually, they don't have cords on this yet. So actually, that's going to be really beneficial for them. Nice. And resettlement program, so be it. And there you go. I don't care what it, it takes for that stuff, so. Do it anyways. Oh, they've got cords on it. Look at that. Beautiful. They don't have cords on Banat, but whatever. That's what you get, Romania. That's what you get. Actually, are we fighting anyone else? No? Now, that's a really nice Hungary. That's a really thick Hungary. I like it. And Romania, I'm sorry, but, you know, you chose you chose your path. Octavian Goga. Alright, well, now they've kind of cucked out of their own, you know, lands, but, hey. Whatever. Form peasant militias, deal with the devil. Not in a faction. Okay. And it's with neutrality, very nice, very nice, as it should be. Can we do anything about this yet? Lebensraum, no. Military to Swiss. Can I go to war with anyone else? Well, technically... Romania, yes, so, huh. Confiscate Swiss gold. I like the extra political power. Maybe we'll do that. The Catholic state, though. The reform papal states. We need to get rid of Italy eventually. Um, Austrian economy. Killing zones. I like that a lot. Austrian regional development. Our economy was hit hard by the Great Depression. Thousands lost their jobs, prices skyrocketed, and inflation was rampant. But now the worst is behind us. We can begin focusing on developing the states of Austria with an individualized focus on each region. The first step shall be clearing land for the expansion of our cities. The Pact of Rome is not bad. Of course, the Meat of Moors is here. We might need to go to war with the German Empire, though, depending on what happens. They're uh, guaranteeing the independence of Turkey. Yeah, hmm... Another general, maybe? Edward Baga? Very nice. Uh, let's go and lower the limit exports. It hurts the construction speed, but that's alright for now. Uh, keep doing that, and then we're going to keep doing this as well at the same time. Slovenia, yes please. 
You guys come to Germany, which we will need to make sure we have everyone here helping us out with this. Divisions, how are we doing? How are we looking, actually? 16 combat width, not ideal. Plenty of guns, though, so... There we go, anti-air. Support equipment-wise, we got plenty enough for engineers, which we definitely, definitely, definitely need. Motorized, we have a few trucks, so it might, might be better to throw some motorized here. Even though, actually, you get slightly more defense than normal ones. Uh, so we'll go with that one. Artillery, we're already out, so I'm okay with doing that, too. Nice. So far, I'm pre feeling pretty good about this. Hope you guys are as well. If someone did say they want heavy tanks, so maybe we'll go with some heavy tanks. Kind of nice, kind of nice. Go ahead and train if you need to. How many guns and other pieces of equipment are we out? Artillery is really bad. I don't want to lower guns by that much, so. A little bit of lag. All right. Superior firepower. Austrian economy. Not bad. Uh, computer technology. Do we get another research slot? Yes, we do. Eventually, once we get down there. Let's go take some serious time, though. Ah, Bohemian Lebensraum. Our efforts to Austrianize Bohemia have been largely successful. All the centers are either dead or imprisoned, and the local populace has grown accustomed to our rule over them. Our efforts to integrate the local population will continue, but the job is mostly done. Bohemia is Austrian now. Nice. So that's what Carlsbad was renamed to Carlsbad. Liberec is renamed to Reichenberg. Oh, Prague, Prague. Plezen? Plezen? Pilsen, Tabor, Tabor. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Ah, uh, yes. Delay adoption. Very good. We need way more artillery, so do that, and then do some more of this, too, and then do a lot of this as well. We have some armored cars, too. That's not bad. We actually have quite a few... Uh, we don't need that much anti-air. If that's the case, well, maybe we will use some anti-air, then. How much does it cost to put anti-air on our infantry? Because that could be really, 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 really incredibly beneficial. That's not bad. You know, throw it on there. I like it. Hungry proclaims... Greater hungry. Well, as long as they're with us and they don't want to kill us, I'm totally okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Autarky. Domestic arms industry. Boost heavy. Hungarian aviation. Not bad. 39. Uh, anything else here? Mountaineers is not bad. Uh, I'll grab the next thing of Mountaineers. Why not? We need more manpower. Wow. After that, eventually we want to grab some of this. Then again, once we have all of this cord, I mean, we get more manpower. We have 59, 59 factories, which... The next thing we'll do is get even more factories, which is great, 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 great. Um, hmm. All right. All right. Wow, you guys are not looking good down here, huh? Croatia. That's all right. And actually, can we do this one down here in Slovakia? Yes, Slovenian Lebens Realm. Our efforts to Austrianize Slovenia has been largely successful. All dissenters are either dead or imprisoned, and the local populace has grown accustomed to our rule over them. Our efforts to integrate the local population will continue, but the job is mostly done. Slovenia is now Austrian. I love it. Actually, we could probably help out the Chinese and get a lot more uh, help or a lot more stuff down there. Uh, we don't have really that much army XP to spare, so we'll do that. Uh, actually, I don't mind sending you maybe over. How many divisions can we send over to China? Oh, Yunnan is gone. That's good. We can't send anybody. Okay, we don't have enough divisions. Okay. That sucks. Hey, 70 factories, 69, 68 factories. Nice. That's pretty good. More manpower. I was kind of worried about that, but not bad. Excavation 3, very nice. Let's grab uh, some fuel storage, because we'll probably need that eventually. Pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good. If we run out of things to build, just build a lot of air bases. We do have to take out Germany. Hopefully, by the end of this episode, we will at least attempt to start doing that. So, Oh, South Africa, good job. And why am I building a lot of air bases down here? Because we can. That's literally my only reason why. Uh, medium tanks. It says heavy tanks here, so I'm going to go with heavy tanks. So, it is what it is. Infantry, defense, planning, baga. What else do we want? Infantry, yeah. Matona. Fighting the Germans is going to be is going to be a big old problem, pain in the butt for us. So, Slovenia. Oh, there goes Australia. Goodbye, Australia. We could hold on. Let's New Zealand too. Uh, what if we took out the French first, and I puppeted that French using Italian boys and such like that? They're not in any faction. Well, let's get the war goal against them anyways, just in case against Union of Britain. Wait, Union of Britain? Oh, okay, whoa. Revenge against the Entente. The Entente didn't just settle with beating us in the Great War, no. They tore apart our empire to pieces and left us a husk of our former selves. The Treaty of Saint Germain and Lai that they imposed upon us brought further humiliation upon us, but we are no longer too weak to undo the harms they've dealt to us. It is time that we bring the Entente to their needs and impose our will upon them. Now, part of me here is just kind of waiting to see if Germany will go to war, or the German Empire will go to war with the Polish. Okay, Danzig for guarantee. Oh, crap. Uh, so because of that, uh, if they say, I hope the Poles say no, I really do, because I want them to be in a war before we go to war with them as well. Let's 
Canadian popular state, huh? Who's that? Oh, hello, Tim Buck. I've never seen that. I've never seen Canada go communist before. But okay, Canada, you do you, and leave us alone. <laughs> cool. Even more civvies. Because we can. And then even more military factories after that, probably too. Ah, uh, go and do it right now. Why not? So after this one, we're gonna go ahead and onshore Bavaria just to get a claim state on them. Oh, Poland actually returns to Danzig. Germany, uh, one one of our historical rivals and currently the greatest sister nation since the Great War. The time of living in fear of them has passed. We shall take the initiative and strike first, shattering Germany's strength and, and claiming lands that were once our client states. Nice. We definitely need Germany under attack. Well, yeah, maybe we should wait to do this one? Uh, and we do have the forts here, which is nice. We don't have a lot of forts down here. Hopefully... Oh. That is... Okay. Okay. I've never... Have you ever seen Germany join Poland's faction? I personally have not. Hmm. That is different. <laughs> that is definitely different. I've never seen that happen before. The Soviet Union has gone to war incredibly early on. If that's the case, we'll give them... If we go to war with the Germans, which we will, I'll probably give all the Baltics to the Soviets, which makes sense. I'll give half of Poland to them. I'll keep Poland as a puppet, and we'll take the rest of Germany, so... Probably. Alright, well, thank you. Thank you, Soviet Union, for doing what you're doing. Uh, medium tanks, those are okay. I don't really care for them, so we're just going to keep doing with heavy tanks. We'll probably just grab some improved artillery upgrades. That'd be nice. Alright, let's see. Oh, God, Lord, we need a lot more planes. A lot more uh, factories. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Anschluss Bavaria. I'm glad we got that. For the fatherland? Yeah, we'll probably do that one. The fires of nationalism and revanchism burn within the hearts of our countrymen. We must all learn to harness this fire and use it to steel ourselves for the trials ahead. It will not just be our soldiers fighting for our future wars, but the, our people on the home front as well, toiling in the factories and making bullets, tanks, and airplanes. All must be ready and willing to do their part for the fatherland. You betcha. You absolutely shit, you betcha. Decolonization of the British Empire. Goodbye. Commandos, army regrouping, armor, artillery. I love artillery so much. Entrenchment speed's okay. Yeah. Matona's probably really, really good. Just five world goes times up. Oh, it's the Catholic Church. We love the Catholic Church. We need to raise the conscription level too. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh, we can no longer build roads that fast. Um, so you need greater hungry. I only want one. We can only afford so much here, and I want to build up more stuff anyway, so. Not bad, not great. Uh -huh. fighters. Hmm. Okay, maybe one more. Thank you. So, these guys aren't doing so well. How's the war going for these guys? Tuvan Ger German War. Wow, that's a lot of dead Soviets, not gonna lie. That's a lot of dead Soviets. Especially compared to the German side. Oh, what? Hey, how's the American Civil War going? Well, the Loyalists are doing quite well. That's an interesting flag you got there, Douglas MacArthur. And when did you become leader of the country? Reaffirm on road auction? Well, I wouldn't be worried too about that right now, FDR. Yeah, I really wouldn't be worried about the... <laughs> The Monroe Doctrine. You got some bigger issues to deal with, son. Ching China? Oh, Jesus Christ, everyone is exploding. Except for us right now. Alright, so we got a lot of this stuff down here first. I would, I honestly would just like to annex them and get quarters on them. We have formed Greater Austria, which we will need to do. The Berlin Commission. I'll have to become our subjects first. Like, this kind of fun. There are vassals. They are our brothers. Purge the Wehrmacht. Integrate Western... Huh. Obedient Servant. Fortify the Swiss Alps might not be a bad thing to do. Militarize the Swiss, confiscate the gold wealth. Let's do that one. Nothing like a little material wealth to help grease the palms of both domestic and foreign leaders. Likely the greatest benefit in our subjugation of the Swiss is that we now have access to the substantial gold reserves and banks. Incorporating both into our Austrian government, or at least under the supervision of our government, will give us a massive influx of cash to do as we please with it. Monetary concerns are no longer an issue for us. I love the 5% more political power and consumer goods. I love it. Let these guys kill each other off some more. It's just, it's good to watch them kill each other off and, you know, hurt each other. Support the Finns. Meh. Wait. Italy has sent volunteers. So if we can beat up the Germans and take off a lot of their lands and core them, that's not a lot of manpower, especially on extensive conscription. That's nice. How's Poland doing, actually? That's a lot of manpower, only being on limited conscription. Because these guys are on extensive, so... Then again, I can't imagine their stockpiles are really that big, so we'll see what happens. Anything else here? No? I love these 35-day focuses. If the... It was Mr. Shado 
the de one of the, the like the developer for Dreams of Austria. If you're watching, man, I love 30 Day Focuses. You're doing a great job. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. Illusion of Independence. The Catholic State of Croatia. When searching for appropriate leaders of a new puppet government of Croatia, the first that came to mind was Ante Pavelic and his Ustaza organization, but we found them to be far too bloodthirsty and extreme for our tastes. So we came to our second choice, the Catholic Church itself. Croats are th um, some themselves devout Catholics and are unlikely to follow the Church's lead if our authority backs them. Archbishop Aloysius Stepanek of Zagreb would serve as a fine candidate to be, to be the new head of state for the Catholic State of Croatia. Now we almost have two political power every single day, which I think is just delicious. Yum yum. Scrumptious. Scrumptious, scrumptious. Wow, we're looking pretty good here now. Oh, are they putting soldiers on our border? Uh, Germany, you got some bigger bearish issues on your uh, other side here, so I would probably recommend defending that. Don't worry about us. We totally won't hurt you too much. We got plenty of artillery for now. Totally fine. We're missing just a lot of anti-air actually right now, which is not ideal. Alpen Jaeger. Uh, we have no more army XP, which sucks. Mm -hmm. Well, artillery expert? Yes, please. After this one, I want the Legion of Independence so we can control them a little bit more tightly. There are few that can claim to be as fiercely independent as the Croats. Therefore, we must tread carefully when it comes to controlling them, as one misstep could spark a civil unrest in the region. We will need to work diligently to create and maintain the illusion of independence for the nation, as they are much more easily subdued this way than by force, of course. We're going to go to war by, with the Union of Britain by 42, basically early 42. And we're going to take forever to go to war with the German Empire, which is not bad. I know I'm taking a very long time to go to war with these other guys. Take out Germany, and they'll probably kick out or just leave the Italian faction and try to kill them off once we are strong enough. So, Of course, that might happen after we take out the Union of Britain as well. So we'll see what happens. Nice. And Japan. Okay, then. Good job, Japan. Not bad, not bad. Oh, uh, wait, what? What? Oh my... Ah, uh, what? The Loyalists join the Greater East Asian co prosperity Why? 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 <laughs> oh, why? I love Austrian atomic research. I love it. But, oh my goodness, that is... That does not make any sense. Why? I guess it makes sense that you want to, you know, join people who are your enemies. Join people who will fight your enemies, whatever. Oh my goodness, that doesn't make any sense. And we only have 25 divisions, not that many. Um, are we still just missing anti-air? Yeah, we need, a, we need quite a bit of anti-air, actually. Uh, where are we with this? There you go. You know what? Go to, go to 5, there you go. Uh, go to 7. Light tanks are looking not too bad, but we have no real use for them. Armor divisions? Well, I want to improve our normal divisions first. Infa oh, infantry brigade. These are infantry divisions. Uh, let's see. Schnell divisions have mil military police, which is nice. Uh, since we got you guys, so we must be using it, right? 17 artillery. Nice. There you go. Slightly stronger. Uh, forced religious conversions. That sounds like fun. But let's go ahead and do what? Develop lower Austria? Well, I want to fill up all the military slots, all the building slots first before we do anything else here. Bavaria, Venice, because we'll try to get through all this as fast as we can, but things obviously will take a long, long time. Uh, we can't do anything else on the left side too much. I would like to integrate. I would really love to integrate these guys though. But we need to have formed Greater Austria, so we gotta wait for that. And Antwerp, Venice, Bavarian Lebensraum. Where is? Oh. Okay. Greater Austria. How do we do that? Probably it's under the Berlin Commission, really. Did you get Western? Uh, Austrian March. Wehrmacht Trials? Well, what do we want? Do -do 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 -bum -bum. Political power, the stability. This is the Austrian economy. Okay, not too many, too much of a description there. Follow Manila, go. German, okay, they actually, okay, wow. Ganap, okay, well then. Wow, that's a lot of resistance. Well, the Loyalists have won. Alright, let's grab oh, wait, some better fighters, I suppose. Loyalists reign supreme. Okay, justice has prevailed. Good, good, good job, I guess, guys. Good job. 
we have enough political power. What can we else can we grab here? Army regrouping. Armor would be nice, but we don't really have any need for that right now. Bomber interception. What about Chief of Air Force Reformer? We get more air XP. Air superiority. Yeah, that's probably good to do. Actually, no, let's raise our conscription level first. I think that would be best to do. We only have 30 divisions. Well, screw it. Let's go to war and see what happens, right? Can we actually win, maybe? No? Some places, yes. Some places, no. Oh, yeah. Poland's in the... Oh, crap. I forgot about the Poles. Uh, well, that's not good. I'm going to hope that our allies will be able to come in here and help us out, too. So. Did they actually come into our land? That's not cool. Assassination of Trotsky. Oh, yes. Definitely come in and do it. Come on. Get your butts in here. Nice. Uh, is anyone else not in the war? Oh. Particles in our faction? I didn't realize that. So we've lost in that one attack 23,000 versus... Eh, 6,600. It's not great. What is this? Enemies. Wait. Wait. What? Hold on. I'm not fighting the Japanese. I'm not fighting the Japanese, am I? Why would we be fighting the Japanese? That doesn't make any sense. Did they just go to war with us? Wait, why did they go to war with us? Um. Okay, I don't remember ever clicking on that. But we're randomly at war with these guys. I uh, don't understand that one little bit. They're not in the same faction, do they? Oh, was it a tripartite act, maybe? Maybe that was it. Okay, that's good to know. Innovation Electronics, it is 1940-41, Industry, Construction, Computing, I'll oh, do improve machine tools, why not? So because of this, the Soviets are probably going to actually be able to come into here much more quickly, so. Improved Computing Machine, very nice. Uh, radar would be good, let's grab some attack bombers though. Good. Well, at least we were able to push out to one little tile there, that's nice. Yeah, we can't really push against the Germans, so I'm going to assume that the Soviets are actually going to win here at the end. Just because... Oh, we can go to war with them too, huh? They have way more manpower than these guys. They have almost a million. Wow. Well, I guess... Call all. So yeah, oh uh, yeah, these guys are definitely going to die here. That's good. So, we're at war. I didn't realize that we would be at war with those guys, too. War bonds. Why not? I could help us out, right? Uh, let's see. Honestly, uh, let's wait to do some more of this stuff. We don't really need that many air bases yet. Maybe later on, but roads are pretty good to have, right? Mobile defense is going to be good. Integrated support. Yes, please. Anything else? Oh, we got a lot of good stuff here. So, infantry brigades. I'm going to duplicate you already. Or there you go. It's fine, I guess. Well, as long as the Japanese don't show up here in Europe, I think we'll be okay. Brute machine tools, very nice. Let's grab some new construction techniques. Yes, please. Oh, wait. Industrialization? No. This one. Nice. So, Germans, you gotta do something against us, because these guys are gonna slowly gonna lose. Well, I didn't really plan going to war with the, uh, the Japanese, so... Uh, you guys are in the... Oh, you guys actually are in the Pact of Rome, huh? The Java Sea, huh? Wait, Tanu, two of us in a pencil? Holy crap. No, well, they're still... Yeah, these guys are going to die. Those guys are going to seriously start dying like crazy, hopefully. I didn't realize the, the Canada joined the uh, common turn, too. You gotta love a historical. It's uh, pretty wonky. Yeah, the Soviets have lost quite a few guys, though. That's not really good. Oh, more factories. That's nice. We're going to need a lot more guns and artillery where we're headed. But let's grab some better planes, maybe. 
Oh, this would be really nice as well. Let's grab some of this. Yeah, I'm going to go probably go to close economy. We need to close up what we've got. So, And then industrialization will be next, so that will be good. Yeah, I don't think our divisions can really do too much. So, yeah, maybe I should have gotten to war so early. Then again, I mean, this will help out the Soviets beat these guys up a little bit more, hopefully. So, we got a lot of divisions. Germany, though, pride of the modern German fleet. Million manpower. All right, and industrialization. Don't mind if we do, because I want that extra research slot quickly, too. And can we build ourselves up anymore? That'd be kind of nice. Not going to lie, that'd be kind of nice. Good. We could really use some more stuff here. And close economy. All right, aluminum. We could probably afford one more. And then rubber. We're going to grab one more as well. Uh, good. Estonia's gone. Niger. Thank you. Very nice. That should help us produce some good stuff here. Even more artillery. At this point, I'm going to go start switching some of these guys to uh, 40. No, actually, no, we can't. We don't really have 40 combo divisions yet. Oof. I should have waited to go to war. But then again, what else were we going to do? You know? Northern China, huh? Not too concerned about Northern China, just going to say. Uh, Italy, is there anything you can do about this at all? Three, two, 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 five. Yeah. Oh, the Soviets are over there. That's kind of nice. Oh, so who's that? Is that the Union of Britain? Huh, maybe. Hmm... Mm-hmm. Defense, please. Thank you. Uh, I suppose Poland's probably still doing okay, though. Yeah, I got plenty of manpower. So if it's, I'm just worried about their gun amount. Industrialization. Oh, they're shifting soldiers around. Banishes the royal family. Okay, cool. And... We shall do improved research and development. Another whole research slot. Love it. Can we actually win here, maybe? Maybe not? No, that sucks. Three divisions, can we actually win here, maybe? No. Come on, guys, kill off Riga. Three divisions, they definitely weaken their line. But then again, our soldiers are really not that strong, so yeah. 3v1. You should be able to win that one, right? Maybe. We're probably going to need to get the offensive guy, so. Hey, we actually won a battle. Look at that. We won a battle, everyone. Uh, not really much else is here going on. I haven't lost that much. German Empire, Soviet, how many men have you? You're losing so many men for literally nothing. Why do you keep attacking like crazy? Why? Actually, are the Soviets affected by the Great Purge? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Claim Besser. Uh, be, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I might have put myself in a bad little position here. Really not good. Uh, attack the bombers. There we go. China. What? Alright. I do not want to fight the Soviet Union, so. Oh, hello. Oh, they're attacking us now. You're not allowed to lose, son. I'll be honest, man. You're not allowed to lose. Well, maybe we should get the defensive one next, maybe. We'll see what happens. Oh, uh, the horse is not looking too good, eh? Oh, yes. Very good. Uh, nuclear research. Let's go do our land action some more. Uh, let's grab support artillery. Not bad. A fifth research slot. Not good enough. We need more. It is 40, almost 41. Let's grab some of that. That's good. Good stuff. Still holding the line. We've killed off about 47,000 of them. Not bad. Not bad. Keep attacking us, please. Oh, hungry. You're not looking too good down here, are you? No, you're not. But even though they break through, you still have mountains around that province, so I'm not super worried about that. Oh boy, I'm a little worried about this one, though. Nope, you're not allowed to lose. Uh, maybe we should grab some anti-tank. Hey, you know what? You know what? Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Anti-tank might sound really good this time of year. 
Well, we held off a lot of the tax. We've lost 41,000. Now it's, we've killed off almost 60,000. Not bad. They're attacking us again. Yeah, maybe we need to get some more defense here. There you go. That should guarantee us victory for the most part. Hopefully, right? No? Yes? I don't know. Uh, you guys... Yeah, don't let him in. There we go. Because of the attack, now we can throw, make these guys even bigger. Nice. There we go. That's what we like to see. Wait, who joined what faction? The Greater Bulgarian Feder... Uh, was Bulgaria considered a major? Because we'll have to take these guys out too eventually then. Wow, Switzerland, you're not looking too good down there, huh? Oh, they're stacking bodies up here again. That's not good. Well. <laughs> they're the only group that would get that much. Okay, then. Uh, are they actually getting pushed? They're getting pushed back. Holy crap. Uh, Russia, why? Why, Soviet Union, why are you so bad, Soviet Union? Uh, actually, they could probably just march right on in. That's not good. Nice, some new artillery pieces. Let's grab some exp uh, expanded support units. One, that'd be nice. Oh, and we are out of something here. What are we out of? Cannons? Okay, well, good. Good, thank you. That's not good if Switzerland falls. Hopefully they can hold, though. Artillery is looking pretty lacking. We're improving upon it, though. Actually, how many Germans have we killed? 127,000? Not bad. They still have plenty enough manpower, though, for now. British operative captured, as we should have captured them. Less than a million manpower. Oh, we actually see what they got. Look at that. A lot of artillery, some fighters. Infantry equipment, they're completely out, so any more territory they do take was going to hurt them quite a bit. So, resistance is going to get really bad in the Soviet Union, probably for, the, for these guys. Oh, Hungary is falling apart, too. That's not good. Uh, how are you guys looking? Siam, alright. No, could you two come here? Yes, yes, please. Anywhere there's red over here, yes. There's red over here. Hungary should be able to do relatively okay since they have all their cores, really. They're only they're on excessive conscription. Ooh, support ones one would be nice. Let's grab some improved stuff like that. Very, very good. Stop the border just a little bit. Alright, Germany, you got no more infantry equipment. And I doubt these guys have a lot of infantry equipment as well, so even though it doesn't look great for us right now, it could be so much worse. Incredibly so much worse. Uh yeah, you guys suck. Woof. Already combo with it. There we go. Uh, what are we lacking? Anything else? We just need more artillery. That'd be a big thing. Oh, actually, do these divisions have anti air as well? Can we anti tank? That's next. That's right. That's next. That's next. All right, not bad so far. Not bad. We're doing pretty well in defense. I doubt we could attack here and succeed. Expanded units. Nice. Killing zones. Nice. Get some more artillery defense. It looks like they've stopped for a little bit. They're still attacking the Russians. And these guys actually brought back Tartu, huh? I like war bonds. Oh, there goes Tibet too. Nice, very nice. Uh, artillery, let's expand this as well. We can go back down to three, that's fine. Go to six, that's fine. Make more planes, that'll be important. Make more tanks as well. Uh, what else we got? 41. I did say I want some anti tank. So, where's anti tank? There it is. 58 days, not bad. Could be better. Could be a lot better, actually. And we have no convoys, which just makes a lot of sense. Come on, guys. You should be able to win here, right? Oh, we actually have superiority, huh? Do we have more planes? Oh, we have a few planes, yes. Nice. Do we have any other types of planes? Tactical bombers, maybe? Directly delivers an investment portfolio. Let's see what they want. 
Representatives from Turkey have visited our country and met with many of our politicians in the hopes of garnering support and endorsements for the investment scheme. The government of Turkey would like for us to use our resources to better their own industrial capabilities and output. Turkish officials have inferred that by assisting their nation, they, we might be able to expect aid of our own in the future in the form of military alliance between our two nations. Uh, sure. Why not? Oh, hello. Guys. Okay, I attacked. Well, we're attacking as, you know, intelligently as we possibly can. Don't just attack because you can. I get it. They don't have a lot of guys around there, but... Come on. Use your heads. Nice. And the Soviets? Uh, stopping their offenses. Uh, let's go over here, too. Nice. Uh, does anyone have, anyone have upgrades? Alfred? Hello. Do you see that at the top of the screen here? Italy has invaded Wilhelm's often. How did you do that? Did you literally navally invade from, like, Spain? Jesus. That's actually really, really cool. I love Italy. Too bad we gotta kill them later, probably. Very nice. Who needs a lot of divisions when you can have thick boys? If the boys ain't thick, I'm not interested. Not bad. Uh, where else can we attack? I don't want to attack the tank division, not without anti-tank really, so that's not smart. To attack like that. Two divisions here might be able to do something here, maybe? Yes, yes please, no, yes. Killing zones, yes. Extend, uh, expanded support units too, yes please. British operative, of course, of course. Wow, those poles don't look very good. Well, some of them don't look good. Some of them are doing relatively okay. Italy, I love you, Italy. I'm sorry we have to kill you later, though. Invest in Turkish state building. Um, bind them to our own economy. Uh, do we have anything in our focus here regarding Turkey? No. Okay, so maybe we won't take them out. If we can add them to our alliance, that might not be bad. I can do that. Why not? I don't want to attack there badly, but let's see. Slowly expanding our borders, and I know I could do like support attacks, but I'm just a little lazy. I don't mind just like having everyone attack at the same time. That's fine with me. Yep, they're definitely trying to breach out some more, but this is kind of nice. It's kind of nice, though. So. It would be better to focus down here, just so we can start showing up the line a little bit more. Where would we attack though? Here to here, maybe. Form grid to Austria would be nice. We need. Oh, we can do that when we're at war, probably. Cool. Did I know that? Very good. They're going to throw in another really kind of weak division. And that's just anti-Soviet pact. All right. Good luck trying to find support for that right now. Cool. Cycle soldiers. Good, good, good. Wow, we can't even win there? Wow, that kind of sucks, I'll be honest. Cool. Another one? Um, sure. Expand support units too. Let's grab specialized uh, artillery equipment next. That'd be nice. Alright, looks like they're trying to get more soldiers back here as well. Let's give our guys some rest. They could probably honestly, honestly use it, so... Please just don't lose Wilhelm Tauf, and you're doing a great job over there. Poland, they're still expanding a little bit. The Soviets are definitely not giving up, but the Poles, they are definitely, they don't like Hungary. The Polish don't really like Hungary at all, do they? Let me see what they got, too. Force rotation is nice. Let's grab some of, oh, it is 41. Let's come back over here. Construction speed, thank you. Even more. More military factories, please. Oh, uh, we could use more anti-tank. Yes, 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 yes. And we could also probably use what else? Armor, commando, air reformer. Let's grab air support. Thank you. Atomic research, not bad. Better radar. It is 41. Ah, get some of that. That's, that's good. I like the I love artillery. Things go boom with artillery. Hmm. Hmm. 
three over there, eh? How much artillery do we have? 344. That's not a lot. That'll help out. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Come on, Italy. You're doing a great job. Just, there's not a lot of good places for us to attack. Really, just not. And I don't want to attack over river without really, 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 really strong guys. So, armor divisions. We got enough army XP to do this, so. Motorized. Heavies. Oh, not lights. There you go. I'll throw in some engineers because those are always good to throw on. Armor recon. I think we're still making that. Maybe. Cool. Not bad. Specialized artillery. Time on target. Cool. More artillery attack and superior firepower reduction. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Integrated support will go with next regimental combat teams. More support attack and organization. Yes, please. Followed up with. Hmm, it's only June. Better anti-air? Yeah, since we got anti-air, we might as well use it, right? Uh, wow. Oh, we're out of equipment, are we? Wow, look at that. Why do we... Oh, look at our divisions. Sure. No wonder we're out. Oof. There you go. Defensive line. That would be very useful, actually. Uh, good. And let's go throw... Who want... Who, what the heck? Arti oh, 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 yeah. Artillery defense leader? Yes, please. Oh, look at that artillery. Yes, more attack. Yes, yes, yes. Amateur attack. Yeah, we'll go with that one, too. I'm, I'm glad we can actually spend our command power. Very nice. Good. We're done with that infantry stuff. We need way more guns now, which is not a good thing. All right, oh, we need more. We need to raise conscription level two after this too. Well, that's not good. There you go. Well, there's really not much going on here. It's not like we can do that much. We're trying to make you guys 40 combo with while making more divisions. The Soviets are slowly losing their war. Italy's doing relatively okay. I'm really surprised they're actually able to do this. There's a lot of guys up here, but please stop attacking Italy. Please, 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 please stop attacking like that. Anti tank upgrade. They are so extensive. They're unextensive. You guys have more than enough. Could be even better stuff. That'd be good. We got plenty of motorized though. Hmm. Odd. Well, we could maybe attack here. I kind of doubt we would be able to win though. But I've been wrong before. Time on target. Let's go with innovations and munitions and cannons. Nice. I want to finish the land option tree as fast as possible from here on out. As you can obviously tell. Uh, it wouldn't be good to attack. Maybe we could attack here. Uh, maybe. I'm a little lazy, so I like just doing general attacks. Ooh, maybe, maybe not. They do have air support, but we should be shooting down quite a bit of air support with all that anti-air we've got. Nice. Good. Improved anti-air. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. We could grab that stuff. 41. Let's grab some of this too as well. That'd be nice. Having five research slots so nice. Alright. Ooh, are we still mobilizing more? Oh, we're not. Mm. Service by requirement. I don't want to do this, but we have to. We're already, we're already running out of manpower, so. Are they pushed down any further? Not too much. Poland. How many guns do you have? We can't tell. No, oh, but Italy's got enough to give us stuff. Nice. Thanks, Italy. Extraction. Sure, why not? And improved artillery. Cool. 102 days. Land doctrine's coming along. That's nice. That's nice. Air doctrine. Yes, please. Oh, hello. Oh, Poland. Never stop being Polish. Brezla would be nice to get a lot of factories, but... Uh, uh, sure. Why not? Anything else around here? They're not really moving their soldiers around that much. I'd love to attack here, but attacking into the mountains is probably a really bad idea without mountaineers. So, yeah. Oppenjäger divisions. Let's 
There you go. B30 combat with for now. We'll, we'll improve you later on. Guns looking not too bad now. Thank you, Italy. As well as artillery. Not bad. Not bad. Katowitz. Cool. Hopefully we can win here. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, yes. You can just hold. That's fine. Cool. Yeah, they're just killing their own soldiers off. They will not be able to deal with all the resistance here then. Which is a good thing. And support... Is expanded support unit 3. Nice. At least they're holding on. I, I like it. Gleivitz. However you pronounce that. Very good. Could you actually attack here and win maybe? Maybe? It might be pushing a little bit though. Occupied territories. Civilian oversight. That's good. German Empire. Yeah, we'll slowly get there too. Uh... Doesn't look like we can really win. That's fine. Just hold. Uh, Breslau. Hmm. Nice. Need more heavy tanks, more sport equipment as well. That sucks. There's really not much we can do around here. Almost a million. How much are we building? Oh, we're done building military factories. Uh, I'd like to get synthetic refineries. So let's get to this one first. There you go. Did we get the radar done yet? Yes, we did. So that actually helps out a little bit. They're still attacking. I'm sorry, this is taking me a while to do, but hey, we're gonna throw our focuses too, which is nice. Anyone else have upgrades? Nope. We haven't had that many battles. Yeah, they're not really attacking us that much. A little disappointing, but whatever. Uh, actually. Could you actually help out here? Because some of those divisions are looking so horrendously weak. They're mostly defended by Germans now. The Poles are just... Are they literally going to die there? Holy crud. More anti-tank? Yes, please. My goodness. Sure. There you go. Uh, anything else? They have their sub up there. Venezuela joined the Bolivarian Alliance. All right. Oh, they're actually attacking us. Look at that. Nice. Republic of Malaysia. Cool. And overwhelming firepower. More division attack and superior firepower doctrine. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Let's get some more organization before we attack down here, too. Yeah, I think the Poles, they can't really do much about this. They're out of guns, I think. And the more things they take, the less guns they have, so... Oh, it would suck to be Poland right now. Then again, it would suck to be the Soviet Union right now, Smirsh. Oh, they actually have the Union of Britain in their alliance. Oh, so you did join the Allies eventually. Or, you know, common turn. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, is there anyone else I could help out here? No? Alright. That kind of sucks. Uh-oh. Nigeria. Guys. Come on, man. Financial. Oh, that actually hurts us. Oh, maybe I should stop doing that then. It's a pretty stationary front. I should send soldiers up here to help out. But nah. Uh, is there anything here? Maybe? Maybe we can attack here? Maybe? Maybe not? No, six versus three. We could try that. No, it's not, it's not going to go anywhere. Here's one. Yeah, we should be able to win right there, right? Should be able to. Been wrong before, so. But you never know. You nope, definitely can't win there. Yeah, it's, it sucks being at a standstill. God, we could use our heavy tanks. I wish we had heavy tanks. Alright, so how much uh, anti tank do we have? 479. Can we actually throw it on at least some of these guys first? No, but yes. Yes. Cool. That should help us out. We got plenty of anti-air now. Which is actually really, really good. We need more fighters and more planes, more stuff like that. Overwhelming firepower, so we're done with it. That stuff. Romania, yes, please. Yes. I'll let you I'll let you guys decide. Should we go with a professional army or a large army? Mountain artillery versus feed the war machine. Total war versus masters of mountain warfare. Let me know in the comments below which way we should go with that. Uh, next up, I don't mind doing more stuff around here, maybe. Da less damage garrisons, how about that? Nazi agents and supporters of German unification continue to plague our nation, and nowhere is this more apparent than our federal police agency, the Federal Gendarmerie. Gendarmerie. 
I apologize. Current turn codes within the organization have actively sabotaged efforts to combat dissidents within our borders and turn a blind eye to crimes that weaken our government. A proper purge is long overdue. The gendarme must be cleansed. Nice. All right, everyone, and right now we're developing Upper Austria. Upper Austria has many of our major population centers located inside of it. Additionally, the vast majority of our uh, lo local strategic resources are found within the region. For these reasons, uh, development of Upper Austria cannot be overlooked. And rarely, not much else has happened. I've been able to push out one more tile. Poland is just slowly expanding into the Soviet Union, even though resistance is probably chewing their little booties up. They're doing air innovations. They're running out of manpower, which is nice. Uh, sure, Turkey, why not? Even though this hurts us. We'll continue to help you out, and maybe you'll join our faction. Let's hope they do. So, I would still like to attack... Actually, how, how good is Germany doing? How, less than a manly manpower, that's good. Uh, stockpile, we really can't tell what's going on there. Intelligence-wise... What? No, intelligence name, agency name. What, what's, what's a good intelligence agency name? Let me know in the comments below for the Austrian service here. Please let me know, because I think we could come up with a really, really good one. Additionally... Ooh. We're out of equipment. Probably because we keep deploying more soldiers. We're out of artillery. Our anti-tank is actually not too bad. Did I throw anti-tank on here yet? No, I've not. So... But now I have. We'll see what happens. We've got anti-air. we got anti-tank. A lot of anti-stuff. Um, I'd like to attack here. Maybe? Maybe not? No. Yeah, it, they have absolute air superiority. It kind of sucks that we just have to kind of wait. And... Hello? You guys are attacking this way too, huh? Develop up Austria? Not bad. What about the rest of this, though? Civilian factories? The construction of new factories that produce civilian and consumer goods will better enable us to undertake more constru construction projects at a faster rate and also provide more goods to increase our people's quality of life, which would be a very good thing, even though we honestly don't have that much to build here anymore. Ooh. Oh, wait. Obel Osterreich. Oh. That needs more roads here. I thought I already built roads here. I did build roads here, but why is it 50%? Huh. Alright, very weird. Germany is... Attacking quite a bit, I would say. Quite a bit. Which is okay. Uh, really, I mean, we definitely gotta get these tanks out. I mean, come on. Let's go. Come on, let's get some more production going. Come on, tankies. We need more anti-tank. We need more guns. We need we need so much more things. Holy cow. There's really not much we can do about it, though. Maybe we can trade away for another chromium from, from the Turks. Because the Turks love us, right? Because we're helping them out. They're helping us out. It's a give and take, right? Yep, we're definitely helping them out. Uh, Rook, cool. Let's grab some foreman department stuff. I'm really disappointed that the Germans don't attack us, though. I wonder if we could just, like, pull our soldiers off the border and maybe then they'll attack us? What if we did something like that? Come to Pilsen, see if I can get our guys over here, too. Maybe they'll attack us, that'd be kind of nice. Bait our... bait to attack our allies, maybe? No? Well, that's big sadness. We're gonna need some more fuel as well, too. There you go. Ooh. Sure. Why not, Turkey? Why not? Hey, look at that manpower. We're mobilizing more, which is kind of nice. Uh, so, yeah. How is the war going against the Soviets in them? Let's see. Soviets have lost six points, almost 7 million. Versus quite a few guys. Oh, Italy's killed more. Of course, it makes sense that Italy's killed more. Oh, they're going to lose their tile there up there. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this stuff in Synthetic Experiments 1, just because I really would like to get some of our own stuff going. Thank goodness we finally have a tank division. Now, it's probably not that great. Rouse, he's going to become the field marshal for this. Which will be very nice. Nice, good. Um, is that all the fuel you have? What happened to your... Are they, like... They must have lowered their trade level down. Wow, this is really ugly. What happened to communist China? What the heck? Holy cow, Qing China's looking pretty good, though. They're not doing too bad. Fuel-wise, we're slowly getting better. I suppose we can grab a chief of the Navy. Um... I gotta go with Von Trapp, so that's cool. Hey, look, Otto Skolz is in the... This is here. Nice. He's no portrait, but that's alright. We'll gladly take him. Uh, let's do passive defense, and then, of course, Germany, Poland. These two nations we gotta do. And, I, and off screen, I did go grab a cup of coffee to keep us nice and a little bit more warm here. Because we can be. Yeah, keep building up those roads there. Uh, well, you know, screw it. Maybe in the meantime. Oh, land doctor's nice. Grab this since we're building them up anyway, so... Thank you. Mechanized offensive is good. How much anti-tank are we missing? Quite a bit. Anti-air is looking really good, though. Really good. And even artillery is looking pretty good as well. Nice. Uh, yeah, they don't really want to attack us, which is really disappointing. And we need another tank general to help us lead the attacks. 
Uh, Friedrich Materna? Who's got the most attack? Yeah, Materna. Alright. Well, you can grab that too. You'll be leading some infantry as well at the same time, so. Now, if we had to attack, it'd probably be maybe just right here. Three divisions. Three, three, three. Uh, maybe. Actually, no, attack Gleibitz first, maybe. With the tank division punching into there, that actually might be useful. Let's grab some synthetic experiments too for even more research speed. Oh, we got plenty of fighters too. Nice. Cool. So at least you guys get 100. You guys get 100. And then you guys also get 100. God dang it, Tricky. So needy. Attack bombers. Nice. Uh, well, that's not good. That is quite not good. Do they just... Um, we're fighting them, right? Yeah, that's not good. If that's the case, um... We don't have a lot of divisions, but I'd rather not have to fight these guys all of a sudden, so let's just get ready to go to war with those guys as well. The Italians are pretty much poised and ready to go, so... Hey, yes, let's be cool. Thank you. I doubt the Germans are going to attack us anytime soon. And we're holding out pretty darn well. Poland's slowly getting pushed back, too, which is really nice. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see, 70,000. They're running out of manpower. Oh, they went to a service by requirement over here, too, which is not bad. Italy's just barely holding on here. And Germany... Oh, God. oh wait, hold on. Well, National Spain has pulled in, Ita pulled in Italy. Please don't lose a port. All right, we go. Nice, more cannons, good. I'm sorry this is taking a long time, it just, it is what it is. I would prefer to do this more quickly, but obviously it's not going to happen. We cannot have anyone here do this crap like this, so. You guys should be able to win. Um, how'd you guys go? go. Oh, Serbia. Are you guys not in this? Wait, why are there soldiers in here? Oh, they want to go to war with the Bulgarians, which makes sense. Yeah, they're going to be starving here, hopefully. I don't care what it takes. we got to beat them up, kill them off. Greece, I don't know why you went with that faction. That makes no sense why they did that. If we get the Turks in that, would actually be kind of nice, too. Uh, synthetic experiments too. Let's grab three because I just want to make sure we get enough research for that. Nice. There you go. If you can get down there, that'd be great. Cut these guys all off. That would be awesome. And the Italian Navy should be able to sink anything that is, well, that color. Go, go, go. Oh, wait, we're fighting Bulgaria now, too. Uh, Lemus is gone. Are they attacking us up north yet? No. No, we are fighting the Bulgaria, maybe. Are we? No. Yes? Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, that's not good. Good. Beat him up. These guys are completely encircled, except for the port there, which should be okay. Good. Which means they're going to pull soldiers away from the line, which means the Germans might attack us, maybe. Well, at least it got a little more interesting now. Good. Sure. I don't mind helping you out, trucks, but geez, you're, you're very needy. Nice. Get some more organization first, and then we'll attack again. These guys are only 20 combat with, so it is what it is, but whatever. Guys, attack here first, and then we can all t attack together. Siam's in here too, huh? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got divisions down there. It's weird. We're fighting the Greeks who are in the co-prosperity sphere. No, they are. Yeah, they are. And then we're fighting the Bulgarians who are in their own faction. So that's very, very odd. Oh goodness, we need more tanks, more heavy tanks. Light tanks are fine. Oh, we need more chromium. God dang it! Come on, guys. Oh yes, get some of this too. I don't know. We can't really put it anywhere though. Oh, there you go. Put in Switzerland. That'll help them out, and then we can integrate them later on. Um, yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. Oh, come on, guys. Help help me out. Help me out. There we go. If we force the attack, can we beat the Siamese people up? 
Come on, Italy, Italy, come on, come on, come on. You're making us lose a lot of strength here. All right, they actually came in. Good. Italy actually came in. Nice. Uh, upper Austrian defense industry expansion. Our people have never shirked from war, but our current military industry is woefully insufficient. Expanding our current military factories should be made a priority. Good. These guys are surrounded, and they're going to die here. You can about to. Might as well. Once these, these guys are coming on over here, which is fine, whatever. If that's the case, uh, I'm going to do this. There you go. Any new divisions we made will be coming down there, so. Just to make sure we finish these guys up quickly. There you go. These guys should be doing relatively okay. They're already learning a bunch. Hopefully they are. They're attacking us. Goodbye. They're going to come in there, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Romania, yes. Can they pierce us? Yes, I can. So you might as well not even attack. We gotta upgrade these tanks too. It is 42, so. Kyle Eggles here. There you go. Just in case. God dang it, Japan. Give it some time. I'm not too worried about it, though. Especially since these guys, they're just not doing very much. Did they weaken their line again? Oh, do we get... No, down here? Huh, hmm. Actually, you guys are looking stronger. Uh, they are looking quite a bit stronger. Eh, but Spain has, has done a great job up north. Over here, though, I would want to attack so badly. You should be able to win. You should be able to, and then you find out they don't. Oh, that'd be so big sadness. So much big sadness there. I'd love to attack there. I'd love to attack there, too. Mm. Oh, Italy's landed. Italy, I mean, you love doing stuff like that now. I love it. Grab some of this, too. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Almost. Carl. Improvisation expert? Why not? Improved anti-air. Very good. It is 42. Just go and grab some of that. That's fine. And let's come over here and grab some more defense. Man, these heavy tanks really suck. They're not that bad of a division, though. 46 armor, 20 combat width. I suppose we could use mechanized instead, but still. Oh, crap. Italy. 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 Why would you do that? I'm not going in your war. Oh, good God. That's not good. That is so not good. Jesus Christ. Why did you do that? We're not coming in. Nope. Italy, you can do that yourself. Oh, God. This is not good. Can you guys actually push out, maybe? Would it be possible for you two? Maybe? There's a lot of green. Doesn't mean it's any good, though. Up here, it's kind of a waste of time. Uh, even though you guys might actually be able to do quite well. I'm not go We're not going in. Hmm... Any other spare soldiers around here, maybe? Regardless. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's good to link up with everyone else, but still. My gosh, why? Max factories in the state would be good. Uh, what do we need? We're, well, actually, we could use that seal. Let's go get that seal then. Invest in uh, Vostalpal, Vostalpine. Vostalpine is one of our na nation's largest mining corporations. Investing heavily into them will grant our military industry a larger quantity of strategic resources it desperately needs. Quite disappointing that these guys cannot win a battle. If anything, this one should be looked at. Good. This one is going to go very nicely for us. Good. You bunch of bad words. Italy, you dinguses. We're not done in the Balkans yet. Why would you do that? Holy crap, Italy. Italy, I, I love what you were doing, son, but Jesus, how stupid are you, Italy? Oh, and then the Spain's down here, too, which is kind of good, but at the same time, why would you do this? What type of special type of idiot would do something like that? Uh, actually, send in these guys instead. You guys aren't quite 40 combat with yet, so. Do that and circle three divisions. That would help us with the line a little bit, at least. Oh, my goodness, Why? 
Wait, we lost? No. Come on, guys. Break those Germans and Frenchies. So close. Oh, come on. Ah, we actually won, though. I can't complain when we win, though. Right? We can't. You're not allowed to complain. Yes, you are. Oh, God. Our tanks are... Oh, these tanks are pathetic. Yeah, I should not have listened. These tanks are way too god-awful. Yeah, I'll take all the stuff again. But, hey, at least Spain's, Spain's going in. They're doing work. That's so stupid of Italy, though. Why? We got another big old batch of guys out, so... Alright, you're gonna go down to 10. I can't afford any more of you guys, so there you go. We need more infantry equipment. Hey, at least we made an encirclement and did a good job there. Yeah, Italy, you're the reason why we can't win here yet. So dumb. At least Romania is holding well, so. And of all people, Spain is doing relatively okay. Relatively okay. Not great, but relatively okay. Soviet Union, are you still... What are you doing, Soviets? How have not... The fifth Portuguese Empire, huh? That's a lot of 9 million dead. Jesus, I'm surprised they're not dead themselves. Uh, China's not lost too many guys. Loyalists. France has lost quite a few. German Empire. Good, that'll help us out for the future. Um, develop Tyrol, Sud Tyrol. Well, we'll definitely get that later on. Innovation in electronics, maybe? Sounds good to me. Italy. Oh, God, don't tell me there's Americans here, too. Oh, there are Americans. Jesus Christ, Italy, why did you... <sighs> we should have lost the faction. But hey, you know what, Spain is doing a good job. So actually, you know what, that opens up another front against the Germans up here, so... You take what you can get. Delivered, alright, well... I'm gonna cancel all that crap from you guys. And... Switzerland, yeah, I'm gonna focus on Switzerland next, probably. Research-wise, we'll be done with stuff soon. Yeah, I don't know. Germany just keeps stacking more soldiers, even though they're not doing anything against the Soviets. With with the Soviets, the more time they build up, upon you know themselves, they're only going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So, Germany, you're going to end up dying here. Whether probably not by us, but at least to the Soviets. So, wow. Carl Egos here is going to be learning a lot. Get some experience, Materna. Uh, is there anything else we could do here? Yes. You need a buy in. Well, that's going to be a core of us any, anyway, eventually. How much manpower does Bulgaria have? Because once Bulgaria is gone, we can focus more on Greece. And once. Oh, they're out of manpower. That's good. Greece? They are attacking like a bunch of. Sh like a crazy people. I would like to see America fight the British. I think that'd be good to see. Nice. Help us out a little bit more. We're still out of guns, so that's alright. Any upgrades? Disappointing that Germany's not attacking us. Hmm. I really just wanted my tanks to bust through enemy lines, but they're not. They're just not doing it. Oh, thanks, Italy. Thanks for the weaponry. Oh, actually, let's go back to over here. Nice. That, that's actually pretty good. There's some artillery. Let's throw some of this on there too. Anti tank and anti air. Good. It's going to cost us a little bit more, isn't it? That's alright. We got so much political power. We're doing that already. Just do this one as well because we can. And you can do that too because you can. And let's go do some more Swiss stuff, shall we? Militarize the Swiss. The Swiss arms industry is pathetic. The state of their armed forces is even worse. It's not that only the Swiss lack their desire to defend themselves, but they haven't been able to do so for centuries. There's no class of veteran soldiers to pass on the tricks of the battlefield to the following generations. We must rectify this problem immediately by encouraging Stai and other arms manufacturers to set up shop in Switzerland. We also send advisors and propagandists to help fill our ranks in the Swiss army. Yes. Ah, we, we help them out. They give us some good stuff too. Nice. Very good. Everyone helping each other out. What could be better than that? Winning wars. Or else. Nothing yet. Uh, what is this? I'm gonna guess. I mean, we're technically at war them anyway, so whatever. Let's 
Four weapons. Oh, shnikes! They did go to war! Look at that! Oh, boy. Oh, okay then. All right. Well, that's a new front then for those guys. Um, I love the communists. I love them. Manchuria, Northern China. Obviously, we don't really care. Could you do another attack, maybe? And could you do fairly well, maybe, in some areas? Maybe not everywhere. Get to Munich, maybe? Yes. Stop attacking like crazy like that. Uh, you stop attacking like crazy like that. Hold. Do you guys actually win here, maybe? 66. Nope. Alright. Doesn't matter. Nice. If we get southern Germany, that'd be really, really good. Hey, we overran a division. Look at that. It's time for Munich. Nuremberg would be nice, too. Can we form... Oh, we can. I'm glad I looked at that. So, all right. Gross Osterreich. We get 1% more population. Less consumer goods factories. More war support. All we need was Munich. Greater Austria has been formed. And I get a 6th research slot. Nice. That's actually really, really, really awesome. Uh, let's see. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, good. Finally, another tank division. Help us out down here. That would be really, really good. Now, this is a definitely World War II scenario. Wow, that really sucks fighting down here. Um, with that done, we can militarize the Swiss, but then we can do stuff down here. Annex the Swiss? Yes. Fortify the Swiss Alps. The Swiss's greatest defense is not the military, but the terrain that makes up their small nation. Even more so than Austria, the Alps dominate the landscape of Switzerland, providing natural defenses for the troops and the bottlenecks that to trip up invading armies. Constructing heavily fortifications in the Swiss Alps will help us or help solidify our positions and theirs and ward off any possible encroachment by the Germans, French, and the Italians. Good. Good. Three days left, two days left. Even more artillery? Yes, please. All right, moving, boys. Get some help out as well. You guys actually might be able to do okay here as well. Maybe, yes, yes. Push them back over the river. Guangxi war, that's very weird to see. But all right. Get nice. Over the river you go. Nuremberg will be ours. Actually, do we get cores in this? No, we don't. We gotta wait for cores. That's fine. Ah, the Poles are still... No, they, they see some territory. Oh, those guys up north didn't do so well. Nice. Well, you know what? That actually makes the absolute most amount of sense here. Benelux, that's actually a really smart idea. Really, 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 really smart. I know I probably would have done that, so... You might be able to win here, too. That'd be kind of good. Any more? Yes. Oh, no. You go down there. No, no! What? Why'd you do that? No! I still had one group here. You bunch of dinguses. Why? Oh, Athens is not, not the capital, huh? You should be able to help out and actually win there. That'd be kind of nice. Cool. Beat him up. Losses. We've lost quite a few guys. Yeah, quite a few. We've killed more enemies than, than, we, than ours have died, but still. Uh, I think you guys step all the line. That's the most important thing to do right now. Radar, cool. Let's grab some more radar, maybe. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice, very nice. Man, winning down there's going to be a pain in the tuchus. Some more radar. I need to take that one off. That's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have a lot of land here. Not saying it's any good, but thank goodness for the... Uh, Guys down there. Who else are we fighting? Well, Gary and Free France. Yeah, guys, you totally can come on in. Is there anything else we can know about these guys? They're running out of manpower slowly. Surprised the Soviets didn't give up yet, but hey, that's fine with me. Soviets, you keep staying in there. Oh, they went to service by requirement. You guys are on extensive conscription. It's good. Any more planes, actually? Cool. So, yeah, it's just a, kind of a slog. Just slowly moving through here. Slowly moving through here. So, 
Uh, heavy tank two, nice. Can we heavy tank three? Might as well right now. Cool, shock and all. I love it. What do we have over here? Too much, huh? Good. So we can actually, I'll spend that on some of this if we can. Nope, chromium then. Thank you, turkey. We need more guns. There you go. And more support equipment too. Oof. Oh, they're slowly trying to beat us back up here. Let's fortify this and annex Switzerland. Nice. Under our guidance, the Swiss have truly come into their own. Their love of Austro-Fascism and loyalty to our cause is second to none but their, our own peoples. Keeping them as a normally independent nation has had its uses before, but honestly, there's little reason now for us to not annex them directly into Austria. There will be some sort of uproar for this, but sure, in time it will pass, and we will stand with more soldiers in our military and more factories to support our economy. And we'll get that done. I'll maybe read one more focus, and then we'll call it maybe an episode, because this has gone on quite a bit, so... These guys are slowly losing. Slowly. Incredibly slowly. You might be able to win there, maybe? Yeah, we gotta make those guys like 40 combo with. I think you can put some logistic companies on them, too. That's good. Uh, let's see. Maybe right there. Good. Nice. Over here. Yeah. Switzerland will not be a frontline city. Demands French into China. That's good. Mm, Italy! Why? Why? We can't afford a war with them right now. Alright, I'm, can I just leave the faction? I, I'm just, I just want to leave. Can I just leave? I'm not joining the war. Why? I'm not fighting the Soviets. I'm not, I refuse to fight the Soviets. Okay, we gotta win down here then. Holy crap. These guys are stupid as all heck. Yeah, never ally those the Italians. Holy crap, they're just dumb as rocks. No, I'm not going in. We're not going in. Get out of there. Come on. Get out of there. Let's just go in. Force it. No, 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 no. I said go up there. Holy crap, that's so stupid. Italy. Jesus Christ, what type of idiot would do that? Italian AI would. Yeah, we don't have air superiority. That really is just hurting us so badly. 42, grab some of that. That's good. Oh my god, there's a bunch of idiots. There you go. And might as well grab that. Who can't give me my goods? Guys, guys. No, no, no. Uh, everyone can give me the goods we need, so I'm not sure what the game is trying to tell me. Ah, oh, the Soviet Union, no. You know what, screw the Soviets, there we go. Union of Britain, Iran, yes. Italy, why are you so stupid? I'm gonna just go that way. I'm just going to, at this point, I'm just going to try to beat these guys up. Speed them up. Nope. Come on, my turn. Are you learning anything? Are they still, yep, they're still attacking us down here. Not bad. Ah, beautiful. And we'll finish this with what? Uh, business chaplains. That's not a bad idea. Hmm. The Motch? Force religious conversions. Well, let's end with develop Tyrol. Home to an abundance of natural resources and the Austrian textile industry, Tyrol is a vital part of our nation. Cool, cold and lumber, while not directly important for modern militaries, is the lifeblood of the industries that support our military. Developing Tyrol will only bring good things for us, and that's where we're going to end today's episode. I'm going to play a little bit, just a little bit more off screen, just to make sure that, you know, we'll do okay. And, uh, oh, Rend Lothar Renderlich, huh? But, anyways, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, leave a like, I guess, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. If you'd like to read through some of these focuses that I'm going to do off screen, please go right ahead about Tyrol. 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 And Tyrol. And I'll see you tomorrow.